church, now is the time to get prepared for battle. It's time to armor up. Father, in Jesus' name, by prayer and faith, I put on your whole armor, that I may stand against the wiles of the devil. I put on your helmet of salvation, that the same mind be in me that is in Christ Jesus. I put on your breastplate of righteousness, the righteousness of Christ. I put on the girdle of truth, for Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, as it is written in John 14:6. The truth, integrity, and the holiness of God. I put on your sandals of the gospel of peace. Help us to stand on the solid ground of Jesus. Above all, I put on your shield of faith to quench every fiery dart, arrow, spear, and missile the enemy shoots our way. And Lord, I put on your precious sword of the Spirit, your holy word that is alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, as is written in Hebrews 4.12, our offensive and defensive weapons. I lay my fear at the feet of Jesus, and I ask him to release his dove of peace over my home and over my mind so that I may stand in faith and do what is needed. I have no fear, for the battle is already won, but I must stand. As it is written in Job 1.10, Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hand, and his possessions have increased in the land. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to keep the same hedge of protection around me, my family, my mind, my heart, and emotions as it is written in Job 1.10. Psalm 34.7 The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them, and fear him, and delivereth them. Psalm 91.11 and 12 For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to keep an encampment of your powerful angels around me in my home 24 hours a day. Hebrews 1, 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who inherit salvation? Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to send a host of ministering angels, and to, in addition to the ones that each believer has, to minister to our heart, to our hurts, our needs, pains, and infirmities, strengthening us in every way. Zechariah 2.5 For I, say the Lord, will be a wall of fire around them, and I will be the glory in their midst. Father, I praise you and I thank you that your glory is my rear guard. In Jesus' name, I ask you to surround me with your supernatural wall of fire to insulate me and my family and my home and our church from any assaults of the devil. Genesis 15 and 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Father, in Jesus' name, by prayer and faith, I claim your promise to be my shield and protector. In Jesus' most holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command my thoughts to come under the obedience and captivity of Jesus Christ, as is written in 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. In the name of Jesus the name that is above every name and all things. I bind up every unclean spirit and assignment coming against me, my children, my family, my church, from, through, or from, by, or through anyone or anything, named or unnamed, known or unknown, generations back in the name of Jesus. I bind up the principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness, and hosts in high places, and the prince of power of the air. In Jesus' name, I bind up the strong man, the old man, and every prince and stronghold, the spirit of the Antichrist, every spirit and plague, the spirit of confusion, illusion, and delusion. In Jesus' name, I bind up the spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, pain, addiction, affliction, calamity, the devourer and the destroyer, the accuser, the deceiver, the corrupter of every spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I bind up the spirit of strife and division, backbiting and gossip, critical and judgmental spirits, spirits of resistance and hindrance, every spirit of retribution, revenge, and retaliation, and the lying, seducing, and deceiving spirits of deception. In the name of Jesus, I bind up every root of fear, doubt, unbelief, discouragement, and every deadly deed from despair to depression, the spirit of pride, rebellion, disobedience, self-ego, independence, unforgiveness, bitterness, lust, and the flesh. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, you evil, unclean, filthy, foul spirits. I loose in the name of Jesus Christ deliverance, freedom, and liberation, peace, joy, hope, gladness of heart, love, healing, and wholeness, mercy, and grace, blessings, and favor, restoration, 
of the years that the locusts have eaten, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, a mighty harvest and a boldness to witness for Christ. Amen and amen. Always remember, God hears all our cries and prayers. His thoughts about us number more than the sands of the sea. In Jesus' name I pray that you join me and stand. Amen.